There's breaking news from Washington tonight. The Senate has reached tentative agreement on an economic stimulus package. Price tag, $780 billion, trimmed down from more than $900 billion. The compromise followed more dismal economic news. We'll have more about that in a moment. But first, our chief White House correspondent, Chip Reed, has the latest on the stimulus deal. Chip? Well, Katie, you know, the price of the stimulus deal has done nothing but go up and up and up. It was up around $930 billion. A lot of people said there's no way they'll get it down to the target of $800 billion. They exceeded that, really extraordinary by congressional standards. They're now, they now have a tentative deal for $780 billion. We're told a lot of the cuts are from aid to the states, especially spending for education. The deal was worked out behind closed doors by a group of about 16 moderate Republicans and Democrats who plodded slowly through the 700-page bill line by line, looking for projects that won't do much to stimulate the economy. Late today, the president sent his chief of staff, former Congressman Rahm Emanuel, to Capitol Hill to try to seal the deal. The administration also announced today that the president plans to hit the road to sell the stimulus package. On Monday and Tuesday, he will hold town meetings in Elkhart, Indiana, and Fort Myers, Florida, two cities devastated by the economy. In December 2007, the unemployment rate in Elkhart was 4.7 percent. When candidate Barack Obama visited in August 2008, it had risen to 8.9 percent. Our economy, I don't have to tell you, is in turmoil. By December 2008, it had soared to a staggering 15.3 percent, one of the highest rates in the nation. In Fort Myers, Florida, the unemployment rate was 6 percent in December 2007. A year later, it was 10 percent. It's important to go uh, directly to where people are hurting, whether it's Indiana or whether it's Florida. Now, we are told that they are probably going to get exactly the number of votes they need for this, 60 votes, and it is possible that in order to get that number, they will need to get Ted Kennedy back here to vote. He is recuperating, of course, from brain cancer in Florida. Katie? So, Chip, does today's deal mean the House and Senate will be able to compromise on a final stimulus bill, or once again, will everything be back on the table? Not everything, but a whole lot. Nancy Pelosi and other liberal Democrats in the House do not like these cuts. They didn't even like the idea of trying to cut $100 billion out of this bill, much less $150 billion, and they're vigorously opposed to those cuts in education. Katie? All right, Chip Reed at the White House. Thank you, Chip.